Okay, I'll go ahead and remove the attaching nuts. This was the first upgrade that I did many years ago. It had the rubber push-on connectors and I got rid of them. Let's see, I bought the truck in 97 and I think I might have had the truck maybe a year, two years before I start having charging issues. And let's go under here. for the time being. Alright, and the black wires get connected together. Oops, provided it, don't, it doesn't slide right on through to the ground. <laughs> I dropped the washer already. Okay. Okay, back you go. This an awful lot of traffic out here today. Oh, I take it there was a funeral. I was at the church. I turned around the churchyard yesterday. And there was a plot being dug up. All right that one. Probably can't see too well because of an arm that's in the way. Oh well. Whoops. And then we'll tighten that up. When you tighten these up, be careful how you tighten them because you don't want to break the connection loose inside the alternator housing. But in the same sense, you want to make sure it's good and tight. And looking, uh, probably hadn't said anything about it yet. I found on Craigslist a 1995 Bronco with 25 for 2,500 dollars. It's got all power, tilt, cruise, yada yada yada, the 351 V8, and it's a decent looking truck. Uh, there was, they had a, the, the user had a picture posted. So I might be checking into that, whoops. Probably done this in the backwards order. Well, I've had this truck since 1997. Bought it just shortly after I got rid of an 88 F-150 that I had just barely had for maybe two months. The insurance company lied to me about it and 
That was just a bad ordeal. And I've got one more wire to hook up here at the alternator. I don't like taking all this stuff off if I don't have to. My philosophy is, the more you take off, the more you got to put back on. It's like that washer that keeps falling on the ground. And people want to get aggravated at this kind of stuff, you know. I had a friend of mine, he would go to put something on and if it didn't go together just exactly quite right that first time he'd start getting real mad and he'd go to throwing things and you know, I'm telling you, you can't do that. And I'll go ahead and tighten this one up. Like I said, I've had a lot of charging issues out of this truck. There was a time there, every two years, it would get an alternator. That is all hooked up. Okay, now, next to the next project, we'll go ahead and start hooking all this stuff up. See, uh, it's hooked up. Helps turn the connector the right way. That's a big help. And I've got one item left to hook up, but I can't find this connector. There it is. Now. For the main charging system. this Oh yeah, that's a homemade battery terminal, by the way.
And I also would like to point out that this relay right here is the original one that was on this truck when I bought it. And I think this is the factory starter relay. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Uh, I've never put one on it unless someone else has before me. I don't know. Well, the next step is to go ahead and put it all back together, put the battery cables back on it, and we'll jump start it. Oh, every day is an adventure, isn't it? I've also got spare keys. Oh, you probably can't see it. I don't know. Let's get up here to the light. This is the original key that came with the Bronco. Yeah, it's aluminum. They didn't make them very long because they're not they didn't hold up very good. Ah, starts right up. Okay, well now I've got a coolant leak. I have to work on that. I really don't think that the gauge is working. I don't think it is. Okay, well, these things are notorious for not working anyway. Well, so far, so good. Okay, I'm done. I've done everything that I know that I can do for it anyway. Uh, I had a spare voltage regulator. I've got a box full of them somewhere, I don't know. Uh, evidently, it's working like it's supposed to. This one was working like it was supposed to. I am going to suspect that the alternator is bad. Because I did make the gauge work and it was showing a discharge. Uh, this one I bought, I don't remember when it was I bought it, I can't remember. I'll find a receipt. But I bought it the same day that uh, I had to put an alternator on this. They both went out on the same day. Imagine that. But I suspect the alternator is bad. And I'm not going to fool with it tonight. I don't really need it anyway. Uh, see, it won't even... Won't even crank. Okay. So you can stick a fork in this one. Because we are done for the day.